So hello everyone. Um, so what we have here is the AMX M445. I'm going to give some very hard clear cut advice about this tank. Skip it. If you can afford it, skip it. It's a piece of junk. It's one of the few tanks I had almost zero fun playing. Um, and also it's... I mean, it's evident by the match that a lot of people have a lot of difficulty playing this tank. It has very little armor. Still uses the same 90mm gun off the ARL. Um, it's just not a very good tank. I don't mean to insult the French, but... This thing's bad. Now, next week I will also be doing um, Fiora's Basic Tankery School. Basically, I'm going to be showing replays, but the entirety of what I have to say about them is not going to be my usual fun stuff or oh my god moments or all those other things. It's going to be, this is how you should be doing this. And I've been told that you guys prefer it without the music, so I'm going to leave the background music off until somebody says otherwise. I'm going to mention that a couple more times, and if nobody asks for the background music to be returned, then I'm... If I don't get a majority, then yeah. In the meantime, there's a leopard. Now, I know that this tank is fast enough to cut him off before he can get away. So one advantage to this tank is its mobility. Say to me. It doesn't mind hard ground, it doesn't mind soft ground, it'll just go. But there's there's some defects with this thing. Now I recognize that okay, we've got all our tanks up here and situational awareness dictates that I actually go to the middle road. Why would I go to the middle road by myself? Well, I'm probably going to encounter enemies there. So I'm going to come down here. I see the CDC, so that tells me I'm not going to be doing this alone. We now have two tanks on each road. Which should be enough, I hope. Now our IS is AFK. So we're down a tank, so it's technically even. Here's a moment that I recognize that I have a chance. That IS has the stock gun. That means that this thing's armor might actually block a shot or two. Oh my god, <laughs> it blocked a shot. That almost never happens. However, I also recognize in this moment that we need to be pushing like Hades. This CDC, I, I got to give him credit. He, he knew when to move in, and me moving up to support him is the correct move right now, because there's nothing behind there, and this purple player is now going to be overwhelmed by two tanks at once. Three tanks at once, if you count the IS and the guy coming up behind me, we're up to four. He stood no chance once, once we realized he was alone. When you see in a tank that's alone and you've got four guns, go! I'm trying to hit this guy on the move. Uh, yeah, this thing also doesn't get a vertical stabilizer at tier 7. Not that that's a common thing, but you, most, you don't get it at tier 8 either. And... Killed. Now if you look at the map, our 1-2 line has fallen. We have to hurry up and deal with thing 1 and thing 2. And then we have to get back to base as quickly as possible. Or we have to get on their cap as quickly as possible. I vote for going back because this tank is actually quick enough to get back there. The KV-5, on the other hand, probably should keep going forward. To illustrate the how, how, how horrifically bad this tank is, the CDC right there has an upgraded version of this thing's 90 millimeter gun. I'm not kidding. To further illustrate that this is not a very good tank, look up at the WNA. 1205. Look down at my hits. 1010. I haven't even done my hit points and damage yet, and I've already exceeded the 18 requirement to have a green, to have average green stats. People are not doing well in this tank. It's quite obvious. Um, because you're a heavy tank, you have no armor, and you don't quite have the mobility of a medium, but you are mobile. In the meantime, Centurion, shoot. You will notice that a lot of my shots also I don't fully zoom the reticule. I only zoom it down until I, can, until I think about 
to 90% of the shoot area is over the enemy tank. Unless I need a precision shot to pin them. Aim ahead, make sure there's going to be no bridge columns, and take the shot. Load APCR because it's an ICIS-6. And even with my 212 pin gun, I am not about to take the risk that I'm going to bounce an IS-6. Because I do reload faster than he does, and that's my one advantage. I don't know what you were thinking, but okay. We can have a duel. I'm going to get off one more shot and die, but that's fine. Or you could implode. Thanks, teammates. Um, short replay. Again, this is this is not a great tank. Um, it has a lot of flaws, and this is one. I think this is the only tank in the game I've ever had that I've actually saved up the gold from Clan Wars to skip. That's how bad it was. Um, but. In the meantime, I do have another replay today for y'all, and I will give you my spiel about all that other stuff in that other replay. This one, I just wanted to show you guys, so you guys would see the tank, so you guys would hear that it's not a very good tank. As you can see, I have 2600 win 8 with 1700 damage. And only, it's not a great tank. So, let's move on. Uh, the next video will have a much better tank, hopefully, and a much better replay for you guys to watch. Um, so this is Fior the Tank Girl signing out for just right now. So remember that other video I talked about today? Well, here it is. The guest star for Sunday is Bonnie. She's been on the channel before. And this is her Panther 8.8, .8, which has also been in a Raw Tankery video. However, this time we're not talking Raw Tankery. Now, as you can see, both teams... There's no real exceptional player except for the ELC from Relic. These are these are kind of average teams facing off against each other, and it's reflected in the... If you take out the ELC, the win rate actually drops to 50-50. So, knowing that, Bonnie, in her Panther 8.8, .8 is about to pull some really interesting maneuvers. Um, the only difference between this and, normal, and, a, and a regular Panther is instead of a... Uh, Instead of a 75 millimeter, you get an 88. You basically get the 88 right off the Tiger 1, which, for those who don't know, is a very good gun. There's a reason why the Tiger is feared, and it's reflected in the game that this 88 millimeter, if you notice, it goes on virtually every German tank line that isn't artillery, gets the 88, because it's a good gun. And Bonnie is sitting here, zooming in, and she's actually waiting on somebody to drive up to the, this road, because almost every game somebody does, and they're usually within spotting range when they do. I think in this case, though, she may be typing it. Nope, there it is. Ah! Oh. She didn't quite get the shot off fast enough, and she had it aimed just a wee bit high. This is kind of where a lot of medium tanks set up. They're anticipating a light tank to come driving through or another medium to come driving through. Uh, the VK4502, if you saw the video earlier this week, last week, which the card should be up now, um, is really, really a medium tank with heavy armor. Oh, there's a T28 concept. Those are rare. I say those are rare. I haven't earned one yet. Um, I haven't taken the time to do all the missions to earn one yet. When I do, you guys will get a review of the thing. In the meantime, Bonnie is seeking a target. Normally, there's tanks up here. Now, I say normally, but I mean more like on the average match. On the, there's there's a medium engagement that happens right here, and this point on the map, this ridge line, is the most pivotal point on this map. If you own this, you can flex anywhere you need to go in order to engage the enemy. And it looks like they've just let Bonnie have this. Now she's vulnerable to Artie, which she has spotted one of. And she is just going. She's taking maximum advantage of this exposed area. This SU-122 is completely oblivious to the Panther coming up behind it, and pays for it and now he's not gonna get a, a turn around 
The Panther 88 isn't the fastest medium, but it can definitely, definitely circle <laughs> a little tank destroyer who's just getting beat on. Oh, and the side skirt saves Bonnie from any damage. She almost took all of his hit points, too. So now they have broken through and are heading towards the cap. The enemy has taken the city because most of their heavy tanks came north. You see the two IS-3s. Um, because they wanted to support their friend and their platoon mate. That's nice and all, but you probably should have headed to the city because now the city's in trouble. And hello, artillery. Bang! Now, Bonnie has a choice to make. She can push onto the cap, or she can head back. Now, most players I know, who are particularly good, would realize you need to go back. You need to go fight. Because those IS-3s are now going to draw the attention of everything on the enemy team, and you have a chance to cause some real damage. And the Panther 8.8... For those who don't know, the 8.8, .8, being the awesome gun it is, fires really well on the move. She missed that time because he was actually behind a building. But the round went exactly where she was pointed, even though she barely aimed. Again, really, really good firing on the move characteristics for this gun. And if you think this replay isn't recent, this replay is from less than a week ago. She actually sent this to me on Tuesday. T69 isn't aware of the Panther. Oh, but she finally misses one. Up, oh, STA. Self-awareness pays off. Smash through the gate and get him. Now, I, the only way I can think that she saw that was either she looked up and saw the STA or she actually looked at her map beforehand. Either way, being self-aware is one of the very good things to have is to realize, oh, wait a minute, there's a tank there and I should kill it. And taking out guns, that is so much more important at times than doing damage, especially when you're outnumbered. When you're outnumbered, you really want to neutralize as many enemy guns as you can get your hands on. She's ignoring the KV-85, even though he's got the bigger gun, because she wants to chase down this T-69 before he can turn his auto-loading gun on her. And the T-69 is so focused on resetting cap that he's right after the 37 inch. Bonnie's just going to try to take maximum advantage and whale this guy away. Which she does! She got some help helping support fire from the IS-3, and now he's gone. KV-85 is still here, though, and that KV-85 actually has the 122. Which, despite its really, really slow rate of fire, as you see from two hits to Bonnie, it hurts! The IS-122, however, does the same amount of damage and reloads about six seconds faster. Bonnie tracks and ramps, and if you notice, she almost exchanged hit point for hit point. KB-85 is about as heavy as a Panther 8.8. .8. Panther 8.8 .8 has more frontal armor. So ramming is an option in this tank, I gotta say. If I could afford it, I would totally have this thing in my garage. I, I, I love the 88 millimeter gun, I, and I love and I have a leopard that could really use some help. And I also am about to start the other German medium line, and I would really love to have this tank. But in the meantime, they've knocked it all the way down to the, them two and an AT-15. Now you guys have seen my AT-15 stuff. AT-15s are scary vehicles. From the front, of course. And Bonnie, recognizing that this AT-15 is headed that way, turns around and heads to outflank him. The AT-15 player, if he is smart, can take on both of those tanks very easily. If he's smart. However, if he lets one of them get behind him, he's done for. So he needs to keep his distance. What he's done instead is he's closed the range to less than 200 meters. You can't do that. AT-15 players, I know that your your 20-pound gun isn't the most accurate thing in the world. The B-barrel is, though. When you get the B-barrel, it's awesome. But 
you cannot if you can do everything in your power the last thing you want to do is be in a semi open area that has flank points and at less than 200 meters range which I think he has taken the hint and gotten the hell out of dodge what a lot of people don't realize is that tank is actually really quick to accelerate it is vi and Bonnie's taking her time clearing the corner and there he is and now the AT-15 player knows he's in trouble he's focused on the panther he's focused on the faster opponent but now he's tracked he's done nothing he can do he's surrounded Bonnie's gonna reload before the IS-3 and fin- oh nope that rear 150 millimeters of armor says no but second shot does the trick so this is the panther 8.8 um, I particularly like this vehicle uh, if you're looking at doing the German medium line and you're looking between this and the Panzer 4S get this thing I know it's more expensive I, I, I know it but trust me uh, I've played it on the test server I would be so much happier to have this over my Panzer 4S I can say that without a shadow of a doubt in the meantime if you like today's videos please hit the like button if you want to see more subscribe if you want to help the channel grow Share, share on Facebook, share on Twitter, share on Tumblr, hashtag Fior the Tank Girl. All next week after the Raw Tank Re video tomorrow, I'm going to be doing what's called Fior's Basic Tank School. So I'm going to be showing some replays, but as we're going over the replays, there's going to be a lot of moments where I actually stop the game and kind of explain what's going on and why I'm doing certain things or why the guest star is doing certain things. In addition to this, you guys probably won't catch me very much on the World of Tanks servers for two reasons. Tuesday night I'm gonna be on the European server all night long. Uh, I will be live streaming from the European server all night long. The second reason is Wednesday. Um, a certain games beta that I happen to be in starts. I'm pretty sure you all know what I'm talking about but I'm not going to say directly due to uh, NDA stuff. I am hopefully going to be doing videos from it so I'll be over there doing that um, I can't live stream it but I can talk about it once the test is over I will be over there I will also be recording all of my matches so that if I can't post them now I can post them later in the meantime I hope you guys have enjoyed the Panther 88 um, I'm letting you know what's going to be happening next week and where I'm going to be and also I may be going to Tank Fest in, Lon in England this year uh, my girlfriend and I are still talking about it we're talking about where we're going to go for the summer and that's a possibility uh, so that's about everything I can think of um, if you want to help me out directly please click on an ad either when this video finishes or on the page or on one of my videos that's how youtubers get paid you guys click on the ads the other thing you can do to help me is go to the patronage page and donate a dollar I'm only asking for one dollar per person and when we hit and hit certain amounts of dollars from you know everybody combined so when the combined collective donates thirty five dollars for instance I'll be increasing the number of prizes I'm giving out for the lottery when we hit five hundred subscribers so I hope you guys have enjoyed this um, I think that's about everything there should be some cards that have been coming up throughout the video to recommend other videos please go check them out um, but Fior the Tank Girl will be signing off for now and I'm gonna go start recording the raw tankery video for tomorrow so I will see you guys then Alright guys, so here we have the stats for the AMX game. Um, again, it's not a very good tank. I came in second place in experience. Um, 1700 damage, which isn't bad for a tier 7. It's not great. Um, I just... I wish this tank had more to it than what I had, guess showed you today. This is one of my best matches, and I think I only got two good matches out of this tank and then I got halfway through it and I skipped it because I was getting so frustrated with it um, hit six times four went right in two bounced 
I'm not quite sure where the second bounce was. I think the Chiri might have hit my side armor and only penetrated the uh, the side skirt plate. Not a bad amount of experience. I paid a lot for the ammunition simply because I kept using APCR to make sure that it would go through. Because sometimes even that 90mm gun just doesn't seem like it wants to hurt stuff. Um, but in the meantime, let's actually look at the Panther 88. This tank, I would really love to have. It has the 8.8 L7 one from the Tiger one. It's a good overall tank. Bonnie has proved that to me without a shadow of a doubt. I would buy it if I could afford it. Um, what does that say? Panther? Panther Mint? Huh. Interesting. She did an amazing amount of damage. She got more XP than the IS-3 because she has assist damage, she detected enemy vehicles, and she also has, she's a medium tank, who got four kills. So not bad. Um, the IS-3 gets the high caliber. This Flash Platoon did an amazing job. I, what happened to the 416? Hmm. Interesting. So apparently one of the members of the platoon just didn't do anything. Um, and look at the credit power. Look at this. Ammunition, dirt cheap, repairs, not all that much. Only thing you're really going to be paying for is consumables here. Look at that. Cre that's a lot of credits, especially when she's firing at mostly tier 6 and 7 vehicles. The SU-122, the T-29, the M-44, the 150, the KV-5, all Tier 6 vehicles. The GW Panther, Tier 7 vehicle. She only fought three Tier 8 vehicles, but still earned 100,000. Great tank. I'm going to stop here and say great tank. Um, so I hope you guys this has helped you guys out. Uh, I'm going to be returning more and more to my original style of doing these things. Uh, and we're going to continue without the music. If you guys want to hear the music, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to assume you don't want to hear it, and I'm going to keep the music off the videos. So, and except for the Raw Tankery video, which you guys will see tomorrow, because it doesn't have commentary, that just has silly moments. Um, so in the meantime, I hope you guys have enjoyed, um, and this is Fiora officially signing out. Please check out some of my other videos that are coming up on the cards. They're recommended because if you like this video, you'll probably like those.